Do you remember uh, what happened around the time of the Man Gulch uh, fire? Well, let, let me tell you what, what I was doing at the time. Um, uh, the the uh, speaker went on and then they called my name and Bob Gorsuch and, and uh, a bunch of other. These were all new men, by the way. Uh, almost all new men that were at the uh, Gulch at that time, that were in that fire. But at any rate, there was a, it was an emergency, and there was a, a train, a, a plane load of us, and uh, ten of us, and we flew. Uh, Bob Gorsuch and myself uh, had the honors. He was either number one or I was number two on the jump list. In emergencies, you went out, you you jumped, you took care of the problem, you came back and you were right up number one and two on the list again. Uh, it was so fast, there was no money involved hardly, that you never lost your spot. Normally, if you went out on a fire, came back, your name was put on the bottom and you had to work your way up. So Bob and myself were number one and number two that day. We went over to Bombers Ferry and jumped and I had the uh, Bob had the honor of the stretcher, and I had the stupid uh, wheel that hooked into it. And the stupid wheel hit and bounced clear down into the valley, and I had to go down and pick up this stupid big wheel and carry it all the way up to this uh, landing where the uh, fire had been, uh, fire was, and, and went over to see who was down and. Uh, uh, they thought he had a broken back and his old Stan sights. And I knelt down and, and I said, how are you Stan? And he says, not good. He said, I think I broke my back. He said, I can't feel my toes. I, he said, everything is just paralyzed. Was he a jumper? Yeah, he was a jumper, yeah. And uh, so, I, you know, I talked to Stan like everything's going to be all right. I had no idea, you know. And uh, so... <coughs> We got Stan down, uh, we got him down off the hill down to the closest trail, which was right down the bottom, it was convenient, and uh, got the stretcher down on the wheel and, and um, got Stan and we, we walked in, we took him and that stretcher, I mean you could really travel in it, uh, if it was on the flats, but quite a bit of this wasn't, but we got him out to the ambulance and then they flew him to a hospital and uh, or flew him to an airport and flew him somewhere. And uh, Stan could, uh, and they released him, they would never uh, rehire him. And uh, we slept overnight at the ranger station. And then I talked to the medic, Bill Woods, and I said, Bill, I said, we've got seven shoots up. I said, let me uh, uh, get a crew and go in and we going to have to uh, climb and maybe even cut a tree or two down. And he said, good idea, how many do you want? I said, four. I said, Bob Gorsuch and, and those two big uh, football players, which was a mistake. But we, uh, we got, uh, borrowed a truck from, this, uh, from the foresters there and went out and got up and got all the chutes out. And, and these two guys, um, they weren't cheating or anything else. They made four packs of all our gear, all our parachutes and everything. Four packs. And I went back to check to make sure we had everything taken care of, and we did. So I had the uh, one pack. They made four packs, and I had one pack went across, across the, uh, the saw. And uh, I couldn't lift the son of a bitch off the ground. I was about 150 pounds at the time, and I don't know how heavy that pack was, but it was enormous. But finally I eased it up, and, and I got it on, and then I had to bend over and pick up the saw, and then we went down, and I just staggered. Well, Bob got down before I did. Bob Gorsuch didn't realize I was having trouble, and he came running up, and uh, I put the pack down, and both of us, he got one end, and I got the other end, and we walked it down, and, and uh, went into the station, and uh, stayed overnight, and then the next morning, the ranger woke me up, and he said, showed me the newspaper, and he said, these boys were here yesterday, and there was 
I think three or four names given in the paper. And I said, yeah, they were here. And so that that bunch went back to Missoula, were immediately one, two, three, four on, on the jump list, and they went out to mm -hmm. Elmina. And uh, this is, I'm skipping ahead right now, a long ways ahead, about 20 years, if you don't mind, I'll be back to, to the old days. but. I was here, my two oldest girls had left home, one was going to college and the other was working and I had a younger daughter that was about uh, eight, uh, eight or nine at the time and I get a phone call, it's from Kalispell and it's Stan Seitz, the guy we rescued down there and Stan is in Kalispell at the airport and he's with a bunch of parachutists and he needs a hand and I told my wife I said no smoke jumper and he needs a hand I'll have to go down and give him a hand <laughs> and I want you to come with me to meet Stan so all three of us went down Audrey and, and Kathy and myself and there Stan was about 1130 sitting in the pickup truck in the back of the truck big bologna sandwich and I said you're eating an early lunch and he said no he said I have bologna sandwiches for breakfast every day I said oh okay Stan was different I mean different <laughs> and I said well what are you up to Stan why do you want me then Stan said well you see that parachute there and the parachute was about five feet high and about six foot long and about four feet wide. It was a huge, huge uh, parachute used for heavy equipment. I said, yeah, I see it. Well, he said, we're going to jump that. And I said, you're going to, you're going to jump that. And I said, how much pressure does it take to break the string? The string is attached to the cover. And you jump out and the string uh, pulls the parachute out of the cover and snaps so that the, the cover stays with the airplane but the chute is now open. I said, how much weight does it take to get, break the string? And he said, about six, I think he said 600 pounds. 600 pounds. I said, okay. And what, what are your plans? Well, he said, there's you and there's me. And there's that guy over there. He said he'd do it. He'd go along with us. Well, I I'm I was running about 160 at the time. Stan was a runt, and he was running about 150. And that guy over there wasn't all that big either. So we were maybe 200 pounds short. And I said, no, no, can't do it. Can't do it, Stan. And he said, you're chicken. And I said, you know better than that. And he said, yeah, I guess I do. I said, no, I can't do it. I said, look at it my way, Stan. I said, if the chute didn't open, I'd be killed. Yeah. If the chute did open, my wife would kill me. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. I said, I guess that's right. So, uh, and I never saw Stan again. But uh, uh, they loved him in that business. There was a parachute, a school out west to Kalispell, and I met the owner one time, and I said, you know, Stan Sites. I love that man. He said, everybody loves that man. He, well, he had parachutes that had breakaway chutes in them. Um, he had all kinds of dizzy chutes plus these big uh, <laughs> transport. Well, yeah, right. I had a lot of strange friends. Well, do you remember uh, a guy named Art Cochran when you were jumping? Art Cochran.